Well, I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend that we aren't excited to be able to do this because it's been over 150 days since we've been able to do a in-person interview with one of our Penn State head coaches as we're joined now by Coach Cook. And Coach, just take us through the last couple of weeks with all the news that's taken place within your program. Well, it's good to be with you in person, for sure. Six feet apart as, as required. And we're, uh, we're really happy to be here at Jeffrey Field, even though it's in very unusual circumstances. It's been a difficult two weeks, to be honest. You know, our guys, I think, have handled themselves well. But the announcement came three hours, literally before our first practice of preseason 2020. So that was a bit of a blow. I wouldn't say people were totally shocked within our program, our student athletes and our staff, just because of the, the, you know, the nature of the virus and the continued stress and impact that that's had on our, on our lives all around the world, really. So it's been difficult. Um, our players have handled themselves with a great character and resolve, and I'm really proud of them. Uh, but these are very unusual times that we're trying to live through, and, and we're going to try to make the most of each and every day. When you receive that news, what was that moment like? I think, the, I think it was a bit of a, of a feeling of being stunned. And again, I wouldn't say that we were shocked and you were preparing yourselves for that and trying to, in your mind, you're trying to assess the possibility of can we really do this? How can we do the season? Um, is there gonna be meeting at neutral sites with multiple teams and so on? So you're prepared for it, but once you actually hear the news, it's a totally different feeling. So we tried to give the guys space um, to just get out on the field and, and, and do some fun things in practice that reminded them of why they're here in the first place. Obviously it's to get a world-class education, but also to express their passion for our sport and to be in an environment where they can thrive on the field and off the field. And the, this pandemic has produced challenges that are unprecedented in my coaching career. Uh, however, I'm very, very proud of the way our staff, uh, our student athletes have, have responded and I'm immensely proud to be at Penn State because of the university's dedicated response to this crisis and how much we've put into making our student athletes safe here on campus. No doubt about that. And you guys in the background can see some cars driving in the distance here. And when people drive by, they still see you practicing, whether it's in the afternoon or whatever hour of the day it is. And I think they ask, why are they out there? So why are you guys still out here? Because without coaching, I don't know what I would do with myself. It's uh, it's our passion and we're, again, we're fortunate that through the efforts of our, of all the people at Penn State, the medical team and so forth that I've mentioned, it's given us the opportunity to be in this environment and to practice and continue to develop. And I firmly believe outside of the soccer aspect of continuing to develop and, and skills and, and game preparation, really it's about mental health and that strength and numbers. And just for me as the leader of this program, the head coach of the men's soccer program, I think just being around the, the staff and the players each and every day with appropriate NCAA days off, of course, for our compliance staff. But we do get to, you have little conversations for a couple minutes, checking in with people, how they're handling this, what classes are online versus in person, things that they may need. Uh, because I do believe there's real, there's real pressure here, there's real stress in this situation, and there's a huge amount of uncertainty. And if we're with, we're together and we as a staff can be around the student athletes, especially we can support them much better than we can on the other side of a camera via Zoom or FaceTime or whatever mode we use. So I think that's the real value in us continuing to move things forward and, and to be together every day. And our, we're passionate about the game of soccer. So we're trying to create enjoyable practices that help them develop, improve on things. And, and we have to start to look at this now in terms of where the opportunity is. To, to make the most of this difficult situation. How do you create an enjoyable environment when you're out here practicing, obviously despite the circumstances, not necessarily working towards the next game right, yeah, versus the next yeah. day? We, I think the first thing is to engage the players. We have a lot of really motivated, talented, bright individuals within our program. So I think that's the first thing we're trying to do is engage our players and what is meaningful to them. We're a big believers here in developing the players on an individual basis. Uh, but within that structure, we're trying to create some things to um, make the season as similar to what it might be in the fall. So we've been building each week, for example, and trying to do more of game scenarios on a, on a weekend, on a Saturday morning practice, so that during the week they're at least looking forward, okay, we're building towards something. Now it's not, you know, Penn State against Maryland under the lights or, or Penn State in Indiana or something like that, but it is something that they can get in that, keep that habit of preparing um, to think about the things that they can contribute and 
make sure that, like I said, like I say to the guys every day, we want, when that first whistle blows in 2021, and there's a real game and there's a, and there's, there's a, win, a win to be had on this field, we want to be ready and we want to make sure we get that first one for Penn State. Coach Cook, appreciate your time. Good to do this again. Normally yeah. I'd shake your hand, so we'll, we'll do a little do like air, yeah, we'll tap, this. foot, whatever it is. <laughs> appreciate your time. You. All right, thanks.